everyone today on the map bloom and we're going to be playing some tagging of tnt and today we're going to be talking about my first week of university and it wasn't really week because it started wednesday so i was only in school for two days but it's still a week i guess kind of i don't know i just said it wasn't but now i'm saying it is but it's a week okay it's a week and it was kind of interesting so i took a vow what how do you hit him what the heck is he laggy He's level 3, okay, his name doesn't look English, so let's just lag check real quick. Okay, yeah, that's brain dead. Anyway, I took a vow in summer. Is he chasing to punch me back? Okay, I'm gonna outrun him, actually. I'm a runner of god. Okay, never mind. I jumped, and he got speed 3. Anyway, basically, I didn't want to write on paper anymore. Just being online for one and a half years just got me really used to not using a pen and paper pen and pencil i just didn't want to adjust to that again and honestly like when i write a lot i usually write a lot in english classes i'm usually i hated it because when i would write a lot i would have to write drafts and stuff and when you're writing a draft you have to write everything back with all your edits and stuff and it was just really bad but that was like in middle school so we didn't type anything we had to do it all by pencil for some reason i don't, I don't know why that was a thing but yeah i wanted to just do everything online and obviously i wasn't just gonna type everything because my major is computer science and there are a lot of symbols there's a lot of unicode symbols i'm not about to memorize the shortcuts to spawn in a unicode symbol so i'm gonna just buy a tablet and i can just write with a pen okay i thought this guy was also it but he just has a santa hat do i have fulbright on dude it's my first time using this pack bro i oh, don't no, wait it's not on right wait no it isn't is this pack just bright? I mean, it's also daytime, time changer. Uh, that's fine. Anyway, so I bought a tablet and I have a little bit of experience using a tablet, I guess, because in my high school during the whole quarantine thing, we were given laptops and yeah, and they were pretty bad. They were actually really bad. They didn't come with the stylus. So you had to buy one yourself and you obviously weren't it wasn't mandatory to use it to write down notes you can still write down notes through paper and stuff i wasn't really about to do that i was about to experience for the first time just writing down things digitally and i already heard that you don't have to use binders in college and i'm not really about to use binders again because using binders bro when i go back to like middle school i had brain dead binders like it's like the higher grade i am the less amount of stuff i have to carry around which doesn't make any sense like the textbooks I had to carry around they might have I had like dividers and stuff. It was just like my binder was so fat and it was only middle school, man. I don't know why. Maybe it's just an American thing, dude. This is actually like this. I don't know why it's a thing, but it is right. So yeah, I was like, I'm not about to bring a binder again. And my binders would always break anyway by the end of the year. So it's not like I had to, I could reuse it anyway. I would just have to buy a new binder because the rings would just break or like the folders would break because it's made out of plastic. It was just not fun at all. And so I was like, I'm gonna go digital. And I, when I got the opportunity to use a laptop that was touchscreen, I was like, okay. I'm gonna just try to take down notes digitally and there were already a lot of people that were already adjusted to that some people they just bought their own stuff and i was like i'm not about to do that but i did it anyway i guess for college but when i got the laptop i was like i'm not about to do that and the touchscreen was so bad like it was not compatible with OneNote at all and we used the one note that came with windows 10 and i heard a lot of bad things about it so i was like okay well what if i just get one note for 2016 the one note that comes with office 365 but for some reason i needed like administrator privileges and i sent an email to our it and they they just never replied i don't know what they thought i was going to do with administrator privileges i was just going to download one note 2016 because apparently it's way better but i don't know the laptops are really bad and i for a period of time i try to write down notes with like the the windows 10 one note and it was just really bad like my stylus wouldn't work I had to retrace things and I was always falling behind in class because I couldn't write down notes efficiently because like half the things I would just half my strokes wouldn't even go in right two or three months my sister got a new iPad so she gave me her old iPad and even though it was scuffed it was still way better it was still infinitely better than using the laptop so I just used that ever since that experience I kind of just learned that the one note made for Windows 10 is just trash I'm not about to get that it's trash and I'm not about to get i'm not about to use the ipad that was given because it was good it, it worked but it was still there was still a little bit of delay right and it wasn't a delay that bad for high school but i want zero delays you know i want to like have real-time notes i want to have the same amount of efficiency as i would if i'm writing down if i'm writing down notes physically right i was like okay i'm not about to get a new ipad because i apple sucks all right i have an iphone i have an apple watch i have airpods but apple sucks like i feel like it's 
Like what kind of company, dude? Like, I don't know why this isn't talked about. Like they literally slow down their iPhones when a new iPhone and software comes out. That is so strange, but for some reason it's still like the number one smartphone. I don't know if it's number one. It probably isn't because there's like a lot of different type of Android. So technically Androids are number one, but iPhones are nuts. And I don't really know why. I guess maybe simplicity just wins in the end, but I don't know. I don't like iPhones, but I still have it anyway. People say if you have Androids, you're broke, but it's like, that's just not true. There are expensive Androids. You're not going to reach me, right? Nah, they wouldn't. Even if I moved, even if I didn't move, they wouldn't reach me anyway. But yeah, so like Androids, people are like, the camera sucks. But here's the thing. Like, I play video games. I don't take pictures of myself or of scenery. I could care less about the, the camera. And the thing is, like, the specs are better, right? Like, you can play video games on that better. And I'm like, dude, that's what I do. I don't care about taking pictures, bro. I care about a phone that doesn't slow down and like good specs, video game specs. Well, not video game specs, but like hardware specs so I can play video games. Cause sometimes I'd be playing Candy Crush and it'd be lagging, bro. It'd actually be lagging. I remember Googling this back in high school and I was, I was just like wondering why games that were made in portrait mode it would, it would just be way laggier than games that were in landscape mode. And apparently Apple uses like a different, it utilizes a different type of GPU. I think there's maybe like two GPUs. There's one that's integrated and then there's, there's one that's integrated and there's one that's actually the good one. And apparently the one that's actually good only kicks in when it's in landscape mode. So when you play a game that's in portrait mode, it's just, it lags because, I mean, it could be better, but it's just not activated. Maybe you can jailbreak it so you can enable it, but I don't know. I'm not really... And I really got into jailbreaking like that. I just didn't want to have an iPad, right? Even though it's really good to have like all Apple stuff for college because it's really easy to transfer files, but I think I can figure it out. I just didn't want to have an iPad, right? I just, I just didn't want, I just wanted to be cool. And I got a uh, Surface Pro, right? And based on my prior experience, when I got the Pro, I was like, okay, I'm not about to get OneNote for Windows 10, right? In my university, I feel like most universities have it. It comes with, what the, I lagged back. I think that was legit lag back though. That wasn't even like a stop thing. Anyway, so I feel like most universities, like your account, it comes with free Microsoft Office or whatever. And you can pick between, obviously I can pick between OneNote for Windows or OneNote 2016 because it was my service and it was just like a Microsoft account. So yeah, I can just finesse it, right? And so I just didn't bother getting the OneNote for Windows 10 and I just got OneNote for 2016. And dude, it was so bad. It was actually so bad. Like, sometimes it would work. It wasn't as bad as, like, my school laptop, but sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. It was just so bad, and it was, like, too realistic, you know what I mean? It wasn't, like, the iPad. The iPad was, like, way more fluent, I guess. I think this one was way too fluid, right? Because it was, like, actually too accurate to the point where it was actually, like, my handwriting. My handwriting is already terrible, and just writing on... Well, not writing, but drawing, I guess. I mean, it's still writing, right? on technology, something so flat was just very weird, right? So my handwriting was even worse. It was even more sloppy. And I was like, dude, is this what it's like getting a tablet, getting a Surface Pro? Like, it's just, it's just ugly. When I was in full screen mode, I mean, I couldn't access the tools really fast or anything. I had to like get out of full screen mode to do that. And it was just not, it just wasn't as good as I thought. And I Googled it. The people that would have trouble with it, they, would, they were like recommending things. They were like, you should disable this, disable that. But the thing is like, I'm a nerd. I already disabled all the boltware that comes with Windows 10. So that wasn't the issue. I updated my drivers. I used Driver Booster initially, and dude, that was terrible. That was actually so bad. Don't ever use Driver Booster ever. Like, if you ever want to update your drivers, just do it through Windows Update. Just don't ever use, under zero circumstances, don't ever use Win Driver Booster, bro. That actually kills your PC. Like, it doesn't... The drivers that it updates to, like, it's not even compatible with your device. I don't know how they get it. It's just not good. Like, I updated it. And it updated my webcam driver and it just wouldn't work. Every time I joined a Zoom meeting, I'll go on my webcam, it would just crash. And it was my first Zoom meeting ever, my first and only Zoom meeting. And it was for registering for classes, like probably the most important Zoom meeting of my life. And it just, it was just crashing. I had to like reset my windows because I, I didn't know how to revert all my drivers. I'd like, I updated like 13 drivers and I wasn't about to individually go to device manager and just click on rollback driver for all 13 of them. So I just reset my windows. I barely downloaded anything anyway. I only downloaded like Microsoft Office and Zoom and Chrome. That, that's it. So I, it wasn't that big of a deal. 
But it was just kind of a big deal, me learning when I should do that. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Like, AP Physics was pretty easy. Like, the math that comes with AP Physics is pretty easy, but just to figure out which math to use is, like, the hard part. And this is really similar, really similar in that aspect, right? So I, I reset it, and then my webcam works. So that was fine, right? But I still had the OneNote issue. I was like, dude, I can't take down notes. This is such a scam. Like, I was literally, like, hyping myself up. I'm like, dude, look at me, dude. I got a Surface Pro. I'm such a, a tech kid. I'm nuts. A computer science major, and I have, like, a... What is your KB? How am I not down this hole yet? Am I lagging or are they lagging, bruh? All right. All right. Okay. That was an insane hit for me, though. I'm not going to lie. Dude. Am I lagging? Like, how, how does that happen? How do I actually lose? Nah, nah dude. Typing isn't an advantage, bro. It isn't, dude. Because, you know, delayed, uh, delayed KV is bad. Uh, what even is the argument for lagging people, dude? Dude, like, what? I'm not lagging, man. It's consistently 24, 30, you know, like, I don't know. Anyway, we're just gonna... It's the next game. So yeah, I was really hyped when I got the Surface Pro and I was really sad when it just wasn't working the way I thought it was gonna work. I thought maybe it would be way better because I was using actually using like a Surface Pen that you connect with Bluetooth. And the one I was using with the laptops was just like the... Like a pen that it's not electronic at all. It's just like a stylus. I don't know, was, is the server lagging? Like, are they, the people that I fought last game, they're probably not even laggy. Dude, dude what is going on? What? I lit okay, you know what? I'm gonna just finish my thoughts. I'm not even about to finish this game, bro. Like, wh what is going on? Am I actually lagging? I don't know. But this guy actually hates me. Like, what do I do to this guy? Dude, what is wrong with you, bro? What? I'm gonna just have the ping mod out. What's good with him, bruh? Timmy Thon? Timmy Tun? Hi, days. No, I was just. What? Dude, I, I, bro, like, oh, okay, whatever, bro. What am I. Are they. What? Oh, dude, what is this lobby, bro? What the? It's like I'm playing ranked and I'm just like in the lowest elo. It's actually bronze and Valorant. What's going on? These people are just strange. These are the people. This is the equivalent. Okay, fighting a laggy person. The best analogy ever, right? Fighting a laggy person on TNT tag is the equivalent of just having a gunfight with someone that's running and shooting with a vandal and they just get a headshot across the map. And you're just, you're just standing there actually trying to aim for their head to get a headshot. And they're just running it down and they headshot you first. You know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what it's like anyway. Dude, you're it too, man. Dude, what is this lobby, bruh? What's going on? <laughs> I can't even play. Like, this is impossible. Prettiest cheater. No shot. They're cheating, right? Almost level 300, man. You wouldn't cheat, right? I was down bad. And using the forums wasn't helping because I already removed all the bloatware from my laptop. And so I decided, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to just download OneNote for Windows 10. And when I downloaded it, it was got here. It's actually so nice, right? And the thing, the thing that I love about it the most, right? It's not, I mean, it is fluid, right? But there's like a little bit of auto correction when you're drawing. So it actually makes your handwriting more coherent than it actually is, right? So that's actually was a lifesaver, right? And you can change your colors easily. It was just got here. It wasn't laggy at all. It was so good. When I was using OneNote 2016, my laptop would just die. Like it was using all its memory, all CPU, all GPU, and it was just dying. But it was just wasn't working anyway. He was using all this, all of his hardware, and it just wasn't even that good. And I was like, okay, I know I didn't get the best Surface Pro, but still, dude, it's just OneNote 2016. Like, well, what's going on? It's a blank page. I'm not downloading any PDFs. Like, it's just a blank page, and it's just dying. And so when I got Windows 10, OneNote for Windows 10, it was just got here, bro. And I don't know what's with the laptops that we were given by the school. They were just terrible. Does this guy... Wait, what? Why was he crouching? There's no one even... Wait, what? Okay, dude. I'm actually losing brain cells, bro. This is not good. I'm actually getting worse by staying in this lobby. The longer I stay in this lobby, the worse I'm getting. Wait, pretty, prettiest cheater is fighting. I could potentially get finesse here. Okay, is she cheating? Oh my, she's hitting with the, the S tab. You never see anyone S tab, bro. Like, that wasn't even like the S tab. That was like the WS, you know what I mean? Like, that's actually like the, the combo ladder, the boxing ladder S tab. It's all good now. It's kind of dumb because if I tried it out way earlier, it would have been fine. And the thing is, all the forum posts, they didn't recommend getting the Windows 10. They were saying how the Windows 10 one was also terrible. So I don't know if they recently fixed it. I just know that the school laptops were garbage. And like my Surface Pro is like 100% better, even though it's a tablet. That guy actually, he looked at me. He watched me go next to him. 
If he just pressed W and hit me, I would have died, but... Okay. <laughs> this lobby is just different, bro. This actually feels like I'm playing rank and I'm on a smurf. But I'm not better than any of these guys. I Actually, I belong here, bro. Wait, this guy did the thing. Nah, bro. Like, how am I supposed to fight this guy, bro? Look at him, dude. Woo! Okay, like, I actually lost. There's no way. Can't you actually... I want to give you... Is this guy even alive? All right, he's good. Okay, he's not alive. I was about to say, if I lose to someone that just said that, bro, like, come on, bro. At least take me out first, you know what I mean? So that was like my first week of university was just figuring out my tablet. And I literally use all my free time, not to adjust to the university, but to just fix my Surface Pro because I look like an idiot. Because I was like, I'm not going to get an iPad. I'm going to get a Surface Pro. Dude, these sack pits. This guy's double... Oh no, he's level 44. I thought he was level 4. No way he goes that way, right? Okay, yeah. Did I... Okay. He's... Yeah, it's crazy how that guy lasted that long, but... His access are really weird. Okay, these guys are both high levels. This flex school guy he never gets off this game. She's on a lunar. Nah, bruh. This guy, like, mastered Hypixel's KV. Alright, bro. Listen, listen. I knew I had to do that because he was against the wall. There's no way I'm actually going to win that trade when he's against the wall, bro. I actually almost finessed him, dude. Actually almost finessed him. If, the, if that opening, if that window was open, it's wraps. It's actually wraps. I mean, come on, dude. How do I how do I tie against someone that's doing the, the Neos? You know what I mean? Like, come on, dude. Come on. Bro. That was my first week. It was very stressful for no reason at all. Uh, I just overthink it a lot, I guess. But now everything's chill. I just have to get adjusted now, which I kind of wasted on... The time I was supposed to use to adjust was kind of wasted on the tablet, but it's cool. Anyway, that's going to be today's video if you enjoyed. Thanks for enjoying. See you guys later. Peace.